so hey everyone um, i'm gorav i'm uh, you know i've been into the this industry for almost over a decade about 13 years now um, and into multiple different you know roles i you know ran couple of companies um, um, in my earlier life uh, which seems like a lifetime um, right sold uh, one of them and then uh, you know essentially been working with Srijan for the last uh, good seven years, uh, uh, building businesses for them in different markets, right? So I, you know, right now I essentially take care of the North America market for Srijan uh, and it's sort of New York. All right. Uh, thanks. Uh, what would you be speaking about today? Uh, about so, you know, uh, this, is, this has been an area which has been of interest of mine and kind of now uh, became a revenue generation line for us for some time now, which is voice first, you know, uh, I kind of got into this for almost like three, three and a half years back, uh, you know, just out of the interest piece. And, uh, uh, you know, what I think, I think the fundamental thing that we have to realize, right, is that we are at a place where now we are reinventing the internet, right? So the way that internet was, or the way that internet uh, we knew internet at one point of time, uh, you know, is, is essentially now being reinvented in a in a way uh, via voice force, right? right? Obviously, obviously, everybody don't agree with that, but uh, but it's it's definitely a good a good uh, piece to discuss about. Absolutely, I think we want to discuss pieces like this, which not many people will agree with, uh, uh, because that's what would widen our own conversations. Uh, and in today's talk, uh, Gaurav, who who would you say is likely to benefit most from the topic you're going to give today or the topic anybody anybody who owns portals or websites or okay. build websites right or you know uh, you know both of them right obviously when you're building a site for your client you know you want to make sure that you can maximize the ROI right and if you own a portal if you own a website if you own a business you know uh, online business any kind of online business right, should 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 worry about voice first. All right. Especially uh, content. All right. Okay. So, uh, Gaurav will be starting his presentation uh, uh, in just a bit. Uh, but before he does that, uh, here are the basic instructions for everyone who is joining in uh, from YouTube or Zoom. Uh, uh, there will be about 20, 25 minutes of uh, pres initial presentation by Gaurav. And we are We'll try uh, to not interrupt Gaurav at that point of time. Let him complete the presentation at the end. And uh, during the presentation, if you have any questions, if you're on Zoom, you can use the Q&A uh, feature uh, or the chat feature to put in your question. If you're on YouTube, you can put a question in on YouTube as well. And uh, someone from Gaskeek is going to forward that question over to me uh, uh, so that I can take, take up that question uh, after Gaurav's presentation happens. Uh, once uh, after about 25 minutes or so, once Gaurav's presentation completes, when we open for the Q&A, uh, at that point of time, you can also raise your hand or put in a question, another question in Q&A. And if you're on Zoom, you, uh, I, I can also patch you in so that you can ask your uh, question directly and have a quick chat with Gaurav as well uh, on this. So with that instruction uh, set, uh, Gaurav, uh, let's start with your presentation and let's see what voice search is all about. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks everybody for joining uh, joining the call, uh, joining the uh, the talk today, right? Uh, whatever platform you are, um, uh, uh, you know, couple of things, right? Uh, before we start, here's my handles. If you want to contact me after the talk, right? If you, uh, you know, there's a Twitter handle, uh, gmishra, LinkedIn, gmishra.com, right? Redirect you to my LinkedIn profile and you can slides. Uh, you can find the slides at bit.ly slash jmishra, right? Feel free to reach out to me and, and uh, you know, if you want to talk anything about voice first and how, what we are doing in the industry, right? And uh, before I start, right, uh, you, know, uh, you know, usually, you know, start with some context and why I was first, but, you know, right now we are, we'll jump into uh, directly into some success stories, right? So why, why you should even, you know, waste 20 minutes or next 30 minutes talking to me and or you know listening to me right so let's let, let's hear about some of the success stories right so this is l'oreal right there's a video right there you can you know i will not play the video right now once you look at the slides you can essentially play the video and hear about uh, so the, the the gentleman here essentially you know 
uh, you know owns the 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 web you know or the organic traffic acquisition for l'oreal right and is talking about how they have been investing into voice and how voice has helped them big time uh, uh, you know uh, for from a from a voice search queries point of view and how they have benefited right and it's a, and being early what helps is be is if company like l'oreal and you know and when they when they jump into something very early right with their money that they can invest right they can really really you know uh, you know benefit right um another piece is erica a banker you know you have a bunch of them in india as well but this bank of america um uh, and uh, <clears throat> they've been you know using uh, uh, you know a big you know uh, a, a, you know they they're really well known right now from a from a assistant point of view it has 6 million users um and uh, you know it's now very well accepted uh you know uh, slowly and slowly now globally as well but at least in you know in, in america where you know if you if you call up particular you know uh, call call center number you're going to talk to a particular virtual assistant right which is going to you know ask some basic question and do a self service right you know and you can find the tons of examples in india as well right um this one is one of my favorites right so and 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 you 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 say that why this is this is not voice right but this is this is very much to do with voice uh this is nyt uh, new york times um uh, and there is a new york times section called new york times cooking right new york times what they did is that some many not many but few years back um new york times uh, decided that they will go back and change their content management system in a way that you know it is creating uh, the cooking the recipes in a more structured format right what does it mean is that they had like literally 50 fields right uh, in which you know you had to fill all the 50 fields for the recipes to um, you know get created right today they they literally own that you know segment and you know it's a it's a vertical search engine uh, right if anybody wants to find a recipe you know new york times uh, cooking segment is literally a vertical search engine right now that's a huge segment uh, where you know businesses can invest in or should invest it right and i'll talk about why why i think about that you know in the in the later later slides but i think you know while i'm talking about success stories right and and this is a slide which came in after i did this talk like couple of times few times right and and this this definitely uh, always used to came in questions right um what's so frustrating if you have used you know alexa if you used google home um in and you know you said ah it doesn't work man you know apart from basic stuff it just doesn't work and then there are other concerns right so the comment is tapping into your um uh, you know what you are saying uh there is nsa there is uh, you know all kind of recordings happening right uh, there are there are bots that can uh take jobs from humans right so that's not good for the humanity and things like that so there are a lot of worry for sure but we'll not talk about it that today. yes so yes there are a lot of worries yes there are a lot of concerns but we will not talk about that we will we will figure out that if the voice right becomes a big um uh you know place right which it's very clear now that it will uh, right but even if you are you know not very confident that you know this is a place that you know because that's frustrating you know that there's a lot of privacy issues but you know you know if it will become it, what we should today what we can do some small things today to ensure that we are prepared for the future right is something that we're going to talk about right so why voice content strategy is important right why right so you know as i said earlier right so even if you think that it's not something that will become big today right um or, or, or you know in the future right why you think why why it's important right see building a content is very expensive right um you know and it takes years to essentially build content nyt cooking cooking it took them you know 4 5 years with a, a very massive team right to essentially build that entire content database of recipes right imagine if they have to do that tomorrow again right the kind of a you know uh, expensive cost it would be for them right and 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 you know the way that you know we've been handling voice is that okay voice is another channel another 
you know, uh, platform and, you know, my, my web is a different platform and I'll create a different content stream for that, which, which how people started looking into it. And it's just not feasible. You can't create two different content streams for two different uh, medium, right? It's just very impractical, right? It's, it, you know, a lot of people that do do say that, unfortunately, when I work, when I'm working with organizations, they, they, they realize you, you can't do it. It's, it's very impractical, right? And and the main piece is that we have to understand is that, you know, conversational legibility of the content, right? And we'll come to that later on what that means. Right? So, so, you know, uh, uh, you know, on a high level, what it means is that when you read a content, you can very quickly understand the context of that content by just skimming through that content, right? You will read a line at the top and then, you know, you'll, you'll just leave a couple of paras and then you'll, you know, go, go down but you still get the context of the content, right? You know, what does mean and what you'll, you'll find what you want it, right? And you, you, you will get that information. On the other hand, you know, when we are talking about voice, a conversational legibility is very important, right? That means that can a person who is consuming that information via voice understand the whole context of that content, right? Which we don't really, you know, think about when we build content management system. Um, you know, as I said, you know, very high verbosity when, when, when you are, you know, uh, you know, using when, when you are reading web based content, right, it's very visual screen based. And, you know, what we, uh, you know, don't realize that, you know, the, the, the hyperlinks, right, which is the, which is the core, you know, strength of, of the web based world, uh, you know, maintains relationship between different content, right. So you get essentially context from content, you know, Google, uh, core, you know, algorithm is around hyperlinks, right, between each other, and right, and and you have a very complex information architecture to, you know, find different contexts for on different content. You don't, you have nothing, nothing like that on 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 voice, right? You have no hyperlinks. You do have don't have complex information architecture, and it's a zero user interface, right? Either verbal or oral, right? And that means it's a very low, low verbosity tolerance. That you that means that when you're building a content for 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 voice. You have to ensure that, you know, the context precedes the content, right? So, you know, you can write a 5,000 5, word article, right? And in that 5,000 word article, you might just want to, you know, highlight like three core different points. And you can still write a 5,000 word article for three different core points, right? But when you are, you know, building a content for voice, right? It's very important to say that what these three core points are and say it in a minimum word possible, right? Because you are on a verbal and oral mode, right? Somebody's hearing you rather than reading you. So, you know, you know, lot, lot, lot on the stick. Let's give, let's take some examples from the real life world, right? So, you know, this is a, a, a page that we, that we took, uh, that, you know, one of, one of my friends, Preston works for Georgia government, the Atlanta government here in, in US. And, you know, the, you know, they essentially have built up Alexa, skill where you know people you know especially old age folks or you know you know marginalized folks can you know know about the benefits that the you know the the georgia government is you know providing right and uh, they translated the faq over which is which is kind of a gold mine if you if you're looking at the voice uh, you know in, into an alexa skill and so one of the you know benefits on the page of employment benefits page faq on the employment benefits page said how long can I receive benefits, right? Now, if you are serving the same content over, uh, you know, if you're using the content on, on, on website, which they did initially, and they realized that it's not working because of few problems, right? Uh, and that's where the conversation legibility come in. Because when the person is reading this, how long can I receive benefits on the, on the web page, right? He says, okay, yeah, you know, I, I am on the, you know, page, which is, uh, you know, conversational, uh, which is on the, employment benefits and you know it you know it, it's it's saying employment benefits but you know when it's hearing he doesn't know that he's on page the con the content is coming from the employment benefits page right and that's why he doesn't understand what that means so that you have to make sure that the entire context is in the content that means how long can i receive employment benefits so these are the some small small things that you know you have to ensure when you're building content that the entire context is in that content right Similarly is, you know, some, some things like that, learn more about payments, right? You know, when you're hearing this, learn more about payments and Alexa, you don't know what that means right? because you can't click somewhere. 
and that's why when you're click doing creating hyperlinks make hyperlinks inside the content so that you know if you are reading the same content on the web you can click and go through and you know do something and if you read if you hear that same content over alexa right you 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 are still fine with that right cool so you know i think it 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 kind of set the context down or the the the, the stage right so in the voice you know the you know 7 seconds is what all we have make sure what you want to you know uh, uh, you know tell the people you you can communicate that in the first 7 seconds okay is 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 should be the goal uh, from a from a content strategy point of view right now let's talk about some practical things that you can do okay uh, if you want to if you're building voice or if you you know if you if you're building for google right you will all know um, uh, or if you care about seo in the first place right uh, you would all know the feature snippets right and what i tell you know my clients my listener everybody today is that you know don't do anything you know out of the box but just build your content to ensure that it can't come on the featured snippet right and if you do that you should be good right uh, um, you know you know couple of things you know that you know uh, why you know what 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 the thing and where where, where the featured snippet and that position zero is coming in Uh, which we call on the SEO, you know, Google about position zero. If you want to know about more about that, but if you look at a normal keyword search, right, which is a uh, just a then a screenshot search YouTube SEO, it gives you a you know typical search result page with some videos, links, blah blah blah, right. But if you do the same search in a norm in a in a NLP way, right, which is the way that we talk, which is the way that we consume information on voice, right. How do I rank my YouTube videos? Look at what Google did. Google pulled out a video this suggested a clip of 83 seconds right because he knows that you know you can't really consume a content which is a lot of content a big content a, you know a 5 minute video or 10 minute video on voice they suggested an 82 seconds content and said that in this video this 82 second is what is relevant for you right uh, this is what google is doing today right and you know and you should worry if google is doing it that means that the brand words or the words that is important for your business how are you ranking on the natural language search for that keywords if you should worry about today right so you know how do you get on the you know uh, featured snippet or position zero right optimize for long wait kl keywords you know three to five more keywords right uh, you know optimize content for who how why right where you know and and, and these things keyword and use schemas right you remember right nyt cooking that i talked earlier you know schemas are the holy grail which are you know now become very very important i mean as the the webmaster the seo expert have been talking about this for many many years but today if you're not having schemas very very tightly integrated with your content you know you are doomed <laughs> right so ensure that you have schemas very tightly you know uh, you know uh, integrated with your content right and you know the the one important piece is that ensure that what are the seat so in a in in a non voice world there are a lot of cts forms you know buying buttons payments blah 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 right different call to actions but in the web in the voice world the only ct right now is is the contact information the phone number so ensure that you have a if you have local listings which is you know kind of the where voice search you know is essentially seeing a lot of traction you have a working phone number working uh, there right in your listings in your content right because that's what google picks up in a, in a lot of cases uh, if you remember the the famous video that google showed where they you know call a barber right um you know again you know quickly you know you know very similarities between feature snippets and voice voice search optimization right create a content uh, you know that answers a specific question write a topic specific page like look for questions right look look you know see that can you answer a, a one question in that particular content right one theme one particular theme in that particular content right and 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 you know go for long word keywords so if you if you if you just build your content for featured snippets right and i'll not go into deep into all this thing because we have limited time right but but just just worry about how would would you manage your content or you know optimize your content for featured snippets and you should be good from a voice search optimization point of view for now right another important thing uh, and why featured snippets uh, sorry why schemas 
you know, is are more important and, you know, why I'm, I was emphasizing on NYT cooking earlier is Google really recently announced that, you know, they, you don't require, unlike Alexa, where you have to submit a skill, build a, build a skill and, you know, maintain that skill. Google is not, you know, going to ask that. If you have a schema on your website and it's well-defined, you know, with all the content, it will pick up and build an action automatically out of it. Okay. That means that <clears throat> if you, if, if your competition is having a good implemented schema, there's a good chance that Google will pick it up, build an action out of it, and it will serve it to the people who are asking questions around that particular, uh, you know, uh, question, right? Some of them, which are very well, um, which, which Google picked up, you know, uh, you know, in the initial, uh, you know, pilot, or if you will, right, where, they, you know, they are turning that into schema or news, recipes, podcast, FAQs, and how-tos. Right? These are the five ones that, um, you know, Google has picked up. So, and while, you know, news and recipe and podcast is not something that is, you know, relevant to every business, how-tos is relevant to every business, right? You know, the whole idea of having a website is that you to tell uh, the, the, the visitors that what, what your business does, right? What, how to do something with your business, how to essentially buy from your business in the first place, right? So if you don't have a how-to schema implemented, you're missing something, right? So go back, at least implement how-to schema if nothing else. If you don't want to do anything else, do at least how-to schema, okay? And make sure that it is implemented there. FAQ schema, how-to schema, these are some very basic things that, you know, should be there. And, you know, just, you know, I mean, I work with enterprises globally, you know, with some very, very large fortune 500, you'll, you'll be, you'll be shocked that, you know, how less people, uh, you know, think about schemas, right? How it's an afterthought. Don't make it an afterthought. It's not going to help you. Right. Um, you know, again, another example of schemas, uh, you know, it's, it's an FAQ schema, you know, which I was talking about. Another, I'll quickly, you know, talk about speakable schema. That's something that Google launched recently. And Google said, yes, there is a lot of schemas out there, right? But, you know, and, you know, yes, we are talk, asking everybody to build the, the content in a featured, uh, from, a, from, a, from a, you know, structured format. But, it, you know, the reality is, you know, most of the web, most of the web by well, you know, is, is not there, right? They have not implemented schema in a good way. And it's very unstructured content all over the place. So they said, if, if, you, if there is a, if there is a uh, particular piece, a particular content that you want to serve on the voice, just implement speakable schema, right? And with a title and a description, title is essentially the keywords around which you want to, you know, optimize your content for in the voice and the description and the content is uh, the kind of content that you want to serve as an output, you know, in the voice. So they're making, they're trying to make everybody's life easier, right? And, you know, this is right now they have limited because it's a beta, beta, you know, stage and it's only limited to the, to the media organizations, right? So, you know, backing the breaking news and things like that. But there is no reason that why it will not open up uh, or why Google would not, you know, uh, quick, silently, right, roll it out for every other uh, business out there as well. Yeah, you know, uh, so, you know, it's just saying that, you know, okay, you know, we understand that, you know, you, every content is not structured. So how can we give you a, you know, quick way out? Great. And, you know, now we're just towards the end of the presentation. I want to quickly, right? So we, you know, I, I, you know, I was doing this talk in DrupalCon earlier, right? And, you know, and, you know, people, you know, are skeptical, right? That, you know, why it doesn't work. Just try different things, right? I said, one is DrupalCon. It gave me a featured trip that said May 18 to 23, right? I was doing this in Florida Drupal Common Camp as well. When is Florida Drupal Camp? February 21st. Um, I was, you know, when is Drupal 7 end of the life? Right? It'll give you that date, November 2021. Right. So you don't realize it, but for everything, Google is actually building a featured snippet or a position zero, if you will. The question is, are you going to come as a business in that featured snippet or not? Right. If you're not, see earlier, you know, you had like, you know, if you were in the top 10, you were fine. Right. You were still getting a lot of traffic and business, but in the voice world, if you're not at the position zero, you're screwed. Okay. Because that's the only answer that Google is going to give right on the voice world. So make sure that you, you invest in it. Right. Um, another impo important thing, right? So my friend said, I was walking with him and he said, <coughs> it doesn't work, right? 
as skeptical like you know many people and they said okay give me a question that you would think you know uh, so we were fitting at the florida technical college and he said uh, okay what is your average tuition fees right and he was he knew that because he was from florida technical college and i asked that question immediately to google assistant and it gave me 29838 usd it was right there right it, it was 20 uh, 29700 something what what he was paying and uh, it was right you know in ac- accurate right so imagine right it's it, we, we we think that okay it, we don't get answers but you know if the more we start using it that more we would realize that you know uh, you know it it is it is very very accurate you know in, in a lot of sense right cool you know uh, you know few things uh, if you use uh, you know uh, you know hrf and you know scm rush and other tools like this i pulled this up from hrf um, uh, one good thing quick thing would be just go in and look at questions which are more nlp centric the voice the the keyword search that are coming on your website which are more voice centric more nlp centric and you'll realize that you know uh, there is a lot of visits happening right so this is a one of my clients i picked it up uh, you know and you will see that you know 300 searches 350 searches 250 searches right and you know these are happening right people are doing nlp centric searches right um, um, even if you don't realize it even if you're not optimizing content the searches are happening out there right and some very complex search what is an advantage to alternative energy technology what is the advantage of solar energy right you would not even think that that is a nlp search people are doing right what is that advantage of using the pyramid of energy so people are doing nlp centric searches because that's how people talk right that is how naturally they talk right uh, and and more gen z more uh, you know as they will come in then that's what they expect right, google to do right so optimize your search for natural language searches right um that's that's one of the end you know uh, and i'll not go into cane but, but you know i probably can quickly talk about it but so one of the things that uh, you know i talk about you started talking about recently is that you know that we are realizing what i'm realizing that you know when we start building this context and it is the it is the bedrock of a personalized personalization as well right if you want to uh, give a personalized journey or a personalization good personalization experience context in the content extremely becomes important right taxonomies it starts from taxonomies but it goes up to a very very deep level right uh by defining a good field structure um and that's where i'm realizing that you know it, it's a good time to invest in a customer data platforms right because you know at one point when you realize that you know you've invested so much into context and content and if you don't have a customer view and a 360 degree view of a customer and saying that what that customer is doing onto multiple platforms at multiple channels right you're going to lose a you know a lot of historical data so if you have not invested in a customer data platform and if you're not asked your customer to or are you ask your client to invest in a customer data platform do that today it's a very important piece and lastly this is something that we have been building actually internally at sigen we are building a voice first learning management system on tripal all right uh, you know because the modern learner is you know very distracted right you know gen z and uh, you know the, the, i did the demo last time and you know and all this thing but and i'll not go go into this but we are building a um, um, a voice first learning management system uh and uh, it's been going to open source it uh, soon right um uh, so that you know other people can use it as well.